कोहिमा ने रोजोख्रे गवर्नमेंट हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल लगा स्टूडेंट्स का ना जी दुनिया लगा जानिया मानिया एस्ट्रोनॉमर ऑस्ट्रेलिया लगा डॉक्टर एलिस्टर ग्राहम लोगों ने इंटरेक्ट करो बोले अपॉर्चुनिटी पाई शे इधर सेशन कुंड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्कूल एजुकेशन पर ऑर्गेनाइज करिशे ये डे कॉस्मस और साइंटिफिक एक्सप्लोरेशन पर बोले और खोता करिशे स्कूल एजुकेशन और एसीआरटी एडवाइजर के क्रेलो लिए यों है प्रा खोता करो हमारे मनु खान पौला प्रा सिलेस्टियल दुनिया डे बिशे फैसिनेशन थगिया और नागा कल्चर डे बी एग्रीकल्चर प्रा लोगी ना फेस्टिवल तक इन्फ्लुएंस दिखी पाए थगिया करिशे ताय प्रा नजानिया खान लोगी लोगी ना स्टूडेंट्स कांग के जानिया लगा बाहर जब भी कोई गिना इनकॉरेज करिशे डॉक्टर ग्राहम प्रा ताय निजो लगा बच्चा टाइम डे आकाश डे लाइट कां हिली थगिया क्यूरियस थगिया कोई गिना नासा डे एक्स्ट्रा टेरेस्ट्रियल सिग्नल्स कां विसारो बुले काम करिया जुनाशे सेशन डे स्टूडेंट्स कां डॉक्टर ग्राहम के सवाल कां करिशे एस्ट्रोनॉमी औ just in Nagaland on holiday. Uh, my first visit here, and I was hoping to fly under the radar, so to speak, but uh, Kekri uh, wouldn't allow it, and here I am, and I'm very glad he, he arranged this. I do apologize for my accent, Australian. I'll try and speak slowly. Before I start, I, I will just like to give a little more background to myself, but not my background once I became an academic, but once I was like yourself, I mean, I was also a student, we were all once students, I, I sat in rooms like this. Uh, and um, thank you for giving up your time because I know the, the Year 12 students have exams coming up in a couple of weeks, so I do apologise for arriving late, that's my fault, sorry. Uh, but what I'll say is, I was very young, maybe five years of age, and I saw some lights moving in the sky and I thought, what is that? I thought maybe it was an alien spacecraft. And it was a pivotal moment that changed the course of my life and I pursued science, as you were all doing. And maybe many of you have already had a pivotal moment. Um, it may not have been the suspicion of UFOs and aliens, it may have been something else, or perhaps you haven't yet had that moment. If you do go on to college, that's probably very likely where you'll be a spark. Something will really resonate with you and you'll end up making it your career. And that's what happened to me. I no longer pursue um, aliens. I did briefly work with a NASA program. They came to Australia. They used our radio telescope, a large 64 metre dish, and we were looking, or listening, with the radio telescope at many... Uh, Austin asked, uh, the uh, researcher at uh, secondary school, Madame uh, Lepo and uh, our chairperson for the day, uh, we are truly honoured, so I, on behalf of our department, led by our Commissioner Secretary, Madam Kevilino, and uh, Director, uh, Kava, warmly welcome uh, our professor and her lady wife. Uh, when we first met, uh, we were just like a little bit enamored, uh, like, uh, oh, to call your, uh, to call a galaxy uh, 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 king of the vastness of the world, you see? It has uh, been a real thrill for philosophers, for thinkers across many millennia, we know that the grip uh, they discovered uh, what do we call? Uh, 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 sorry, they discovered uh, geometry without understanding of space. Uh, likewise, our understanding of the world. We are all familiar with Copernicus, the Copernican turn. We are all familiar with uh, how the many ranges of. Uh, conflicts in the Western world, especially with uh, thinking about the celestial, thinking about the cosmos. So we have the right person here in our midst. We all know that we started off with uh, our wonderment of the vastness of the world. Uh, our little uh, uh, nursery rhymes, twinkle, twinkle, little stars. And we also know that uh, the unknown has always been a magnificent uh, form of uh, deep knowledge as well as a vast form of fear for us. Uh, for us, especially uh, tribal people like uh, Nagas, uh, our understanding of the celestial, our understanding of how the world turns around us and affects our everyday uh, culture, that is agriculture, our songs, uh, our festivals are all woven into the wonderment as well as the fear of an ancient fear, that is the fear of the unknown. So today we are here privileged to have one of the top 
scientists in the world within our midst explaining to us about uh, 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 things which I'm the most respected honorable advisor of school education at SIT, Dr. Kekirole Yume, our uh, respected guest, Dr. Alistair Graham and his lady wife, uh, respected commercial secretary, um, um, Madam Kevlino, my respected colleagues from uh, the Department of School Education, uh, uh, my colleagues from uh, RDHSS and from various schools of Royce uh, Kohima, uh, friends from the media uh, and uh, my dear student friends, wish you all a very pleasant morning. It's, it's an honor and privilege for me uh, to be a part of this interactive session with Dr. Alistair Graham today. Uh, Dr. Alistair Graham is a, is a distinguished professor of astronomy from Australia. He's working at the Swinburne University of Technology. Uh, on behalf of the Department of School Education, Government of Nagaland, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you, sir. Your uh, presence here today is truly inspiring and it's a, it's a, it's a rare opportunity for our kids uh, to get to uh, interact with an astronomer, astronomer of your repute and uh, you know we will be positive that today's uh, interaction would uh, ignite the curiosity and passion for scientific exploration amongst our students. Uh, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to our honorable advisor. So it's your uh, initiative and commitment that has made this session a reality. It's his visionary leadership that that's the guiding light for the department at this point in time. And uh, uh, you know, this this is such a wonderful opportunity to to for all our students to engage with someone who's a global expert. And uh, you know, it's 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 a, it's it's one of those occasions where you get to expand your knowledge beyond the classroom because at this time and age. Classroom is just one part of the equation. What you do beyond the classroom and the knowledge that you seek and, and access and imbibe beyond the classroom is what's 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 even more important, uh, you know, in a matter of speaking. I would like to thank uh, our Commission Secretary, uh, Madam Kevrimo, for being here today. And uh, I extend a warm welcome to all the offices, staff of uh, the Directorate, Mr. Graham, uh, his research deals with the structure of galaxies and their central supermassive black holes. And these are all questions that we can ask him later, you know, because this is some very interesting findings and, and I'll also talk, talk a little bit about, uh, uh, you know, uh, the name that's being given to the galaxy that he's discovered. So from 2012 to 2016, uh, Dr. Alistair was a step two future fellow supported by the Australian Research Council. Uh, based upon the composite of citation metrics, Two rankings place Dr. Graham among the top 0.5% of scientists worldwide. So when I said an international astronomer of repute, this is why. You know, he, he's amongst the top 0.5% of scientists worldwide. He's been at Swinburne since 2006, uh, where he conducts astronomical research. He takes on PhD lectures into uh, Swinburne astronomy. Australia. Sir, we are really uh, honored to have you here today. Uh, we are really honored to have you here we look forward to a very fruitful interactive session. We are also on the Department of School Education. Interactive session with Dr. Alistair Graham, Professor of Astronomy, Australia. Date 31-2025. We are sorry, we are a little uh, behind. In the 